Yo, what's good, everybody? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Ice Cool Box, your source for all things NBA. If you're new to the channel, like, comment, and subscribe. It's a great day to be alive, and don't you dare drink and drive. We got a special video lined up for you today featuring the Warriors versus the Clippers, round one, game two. Would the Warriors win this one with ease, or would the Clippers rally after a disappointing game one? Or would we witness the impossible? Let's dive in and see how this game turned out. In the first game in the series, the Warriors blew out the Clippers 121 to 104. Coming into game two, it was looking like more of the same dominance early on in the game. The Warriors had a commanding 31 point lead and it was looking like they were going to destroy the Clippers for the second game in a row. Little did we know the Clippers wouldn't go down easy and would end up completing the biggest comeback in NBA history by erasing the Warriors 31 point lead. Early on in the game, Steph Curry was showcasing his range with 29 points on 5 threes made. He was draining threes like they were layups. He was locked in early as was evident as the Warriors were up 73 to 50 at halftime. He was pulling up off the dribble, spot up shooting, and draining mid-range jumpers like it was nothing. It was looking like the Warriors were going to blow out the Clippers for the second straight game. All was not sunshine and roses though. Early on in the game, DeMarcus Cousins, the Warriors' huge offseason addition in the free agency. Three and a half minutes into the game, DeMarcus Cousins was tracking down a loose ball. Then, he tripped and fell and got a left quad injury. Boogie Cousins was out. He was helped off the court and is now awaiting MRI results. This is not good for the Warriors as they will now have to rely on an aging Andrew Bogut to help them in the finals. This is huge news for the rest of the league as DeMarcus Cousins may be out for an extended period of time. Now the menacing Warriors are looking more and more vulnerable by the day. It didn't seem to phase the Warriors though, as they had a commanding 31 point lead, led by Steph Curry. Draymond Green was playing well early on, draining threes and contributing 14 points and 9 rebounds. KD was a little quiet this game, only taking 8 shots and getting 21 points. KD ended up fouling out of this game as well late in the game and this proved crucial for the Warriors they would go on to blow a 31 point lead without him. Klay Thompson was pretty good as he contributed 17 points. It looked as though the Clippers had their wings clipped until Lou Williams rose to the occasion and showed them what a real warrior is. Lou Williams was quiet in the first half, but he excelled in the second half as he would go on to lead all scorers with 36 points. Lou Williams was driving to the lane, finishing tough layups in traffic, pulling up on his signature, step to the left, pull up three, and draining mid-range jumpers like it was nobody's business. He was instrumental in the Clippers' comeback. Montrezl Hero was a beast as well as he had 25 points and 10 rebounds. This led to the Warriors blowing a 31 point lead. I'm gonna repeat that. The Warriors blew a 31 point lead. That is the largest lead that has ever been blown in an NBA playoff game. That is almost as bad as blowing a 3-1 lead in the finals. Almost as bad as not scoring any points in a playoff game. So what happened to them? They ran out of gas and started breaking shots. They allowed the Clippers to come back, then a series of clutch shots happened late in the game. It turned into a thriller. Who would end up winning? Could the Warriors actually blow a lead this big? The answer would turn out to be yes. The man who would seal the Warriors fate would turn out to be not Lou Williams, not Montrezl Harrell, but Landry Shamet. He would drain a three with 17 and a half seconds to go in the game, putting the Clippers up by two and giving them the first lead they had since it was 12 
11 in the first quarter. Steph Curry would try to come down the floor and drain the three, but it bricked. This led the Clippers to completing the biggest comeback in an NBA playoff game in history. The Warriors buckled and will have to rally next game. The Clippers have taken away the Warriors' home court advantage. The series is now tied 1-1. Will DeMarcus Cousins be out for an extended period of time? Will the Clippers complete one of the biggest first round upsets in NBA playoffs history? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching today's video. Take it easy. Like, comment, and if you're new, subscribe to be notified when I provide new NBA content. See, see, see ya!